We have a new map expansion in Fallout 76. Is this new area at the bottom south of the map is called Skyline Valley. In today's video, I'm going to show you every single location in Skyline Valley. It all started with this strange weather in the middle of the map, which is located at the Dark Hollow Manor. You can see like this red kind of portal in the sky, which is believed to cause all this strange weather in Skyline Valley. It all started with that ruckus from the Dark Hollow Manor, you see. If you go to this area, it's like plague lands. Everything seems dead. All the plants and trees are dying. And there's only one building stood in the middle of this area, which currently is accessible. If you go inside, there's not much stuff right now. You can see a painting of could be the owner of this manor, or it could be President Hoover's place to stay. Which I'm going to show you later, an NPC named Gumley tells a little bit more story about what happened in Skyline Valley. Alright, next just to the south of the Dark Hollow Manor, you can find the Rapidant Camp. Rapidant Camp basically is President Hoover's vacation house, which is right now abandoned. It could be due to the weather here in Skyline Valley. I've spoken to the NPC robot here named Gumley. He tells me a little bit about the incident. If you want to know about the full dialogue with the NPC in Skyline Valley, I have the link in the description below. Alright, another interesting location is at Camp Liberty. It appears to be like a communist camp. There are no NPCs that you can talk to and currently it's kind of empty. However, there's a gruesome and brutal scene here. We have soldiers being used as targets in this shooting range here in Camp Liberty. I bet there's going to be a lot of interesting quests here. That's going to be added in Camp Liberty. Also, there's a small island here in Camp Liberty. And you'll find like a new boss creature called the Komi Bear. We happen to find one three-star legendary here in this island. It looks like a Yao Kua Bear. We don't know whether this is going to be the final look of the Komi Bear or not. But Bethesda might change the look of this creature. We'll soon find out when it's released. Alright, now let's backtrack a little bit. I think all the visitors should come through this Highline Drive entrance. There's nothing much here, only just like a ruined building with an NPC inside named Greg. He's holding this coffee mug and he doesn't have much dialogue right now. They could add like a starting quest right here since it's like the entrance of this location. Next to this location, we have the Thunder Mountain substation TM3. This is where the new event, Dangerous Pastimes, will always occur. We have this huge kind of like power tower. So in the event, you need to collect these harvester parts that are scattered around the area. And once you collected them, you want to bring it to the tower and deposit it inside of this lightning harvester. Once you deposit it enough harvester parts, we'll see a lot of lost dwellers spawning. They are electrified and we can see some of the lost champions as well, which is I think a higher tier enemy spawning in the area. We have to clear them all. Until finally the boss will appear, we have like a hermit crab inside of this van. Once he's down, basically the event is complete. Next, we have the ranger station bunker, which is slightly north to the TM3 substation. There's nothing much here, we only have like a small radio tower and a small cabin, and basically that's about it. Next, slightly to the east of all of these locations, we have the Shenandoah Visitor Center. Currently, the visitor center main building is not accessible. I believe we're going to get a lot of quests here because if you go to the old Cremora mines at the very southwestern part of Skyline Valley, there'll be the entrance to the mines and inside of there, you can find a hidden node with a password that has connection to the Shenandoah visitor center. All right, if you go a little bit to the south, we'll find the abandoned convoy. This location is like an open area with small little trees. As you can see, there's a lot of deers right now, but they are radiated. You can also find a sign that indicates that there used to be deers around here. Next, we have the Stony Man Lookout. This place appears to be like an outpost for the mutants. There's this tall tower where you can't get up there. If you go inside of this little cabins, you can find meat and more meat. I'm just wondering now what kind of meat these mutants are eating. The next location is the Slumber Mill Motel. I really like this location. It feels like visiting a motel and you just want to spend a day or two near this area. Props to Bethesda team for creating this beautiful place. Next, we have the Old Rag Lookout. This place looks to be a junkyard. It could be an outpost 
But this time it belongs to the Raiders, as you can find the Raiders logo right outside one of the cabins here. We've also encountered a special Asian enemy here, which looks kind of cool. Next we have the Big Meadows gas well. This area has a huge oil rig and there are a lot of mole miners around. If you go inside one of this cabin house, there's a foreman to mill. Right now there's nothing much that you can do. Perhaps something for the future upcoming quests. Next we have the research site Saxony. There's nothing much about this area except for a terminal that is called Lightning Harvester Terminal. I wonder if this terminal is linked to the Thunder Mountain substation TM3 where we have the Lightning Harvester there. So we may have to wait for the official release to find out more about this. Next we have the High Knob Lookout. We have a bunch of outposts earlier for the mutants. We have one for the raiders and this time we have the outpost for the Blood Eagles. There's a really tall fire tower here which you can go up there and there'll be a fire tower terminal. So the Blood Eagles are kind of like doing a fire watch here in the Skyline Valley, which I think is really interesting. Next, we have the Grindstone Arch. As you can see from the sign here, it says Natural Bridge made of stone. It's a really beautiful sight to see. And currently, it is being infested with mutants that are currently living here. There are a lot of little rooms to explore here. Let's be careful of those mutants. And finally, we have the Hawksbill Weather Station, which is also a secret location for Vault 63 Meteorological Site. I'll get to that Vault 63 site later. So firstly, it's a huge place with all this weather station radar. It's a really huge complex. There's also a vertebrate here where you can go and get up close personal with it. You can get inside of it, however, you can't obviously pilot it. You can also access the top floor, which has beautiful view. There's also this weapon bench belonging to vault -Tec. I'm not sure whether this weapon bench is going to be different than a normal one. We'll have to find out after the release. In order to access this location, you need to be accessing the huge yellow door, which currently is inaccessible. If you go down there and try to open the door or press the red button, it won't work. However, there's a trick to access inside of this yellow door. You just have to open up your map and click on the Hawksbill Weather Station. And then there's an option to go to Vault 63 Meteorology Sector. You want to choose that, you'll be inside of the sector, which looks pretty awesome. If you go out of this door, you will have access to the top floor. However, I'm going to show you a little bit inside of this Vault 63 sector. If you actually go downstairs, there's a hidden pathway where you can find another NPC, which I believe we have met her before, which is Audrey Stalls. Also, there's a laser grid here on the left. However, this place is highly radiated. I will show you guys later on what's behind the laser grid at the end of the video while using power armor. As for now, let's go ahead and find Miss Audrey. If you go straight to the end and then turn left, you'll find Miss Audrey stalls. You can actually have a conversation with her and she could be one of the key character in the future quest in Skyline Valley. Right now, if you want to hear the whole entire dialogue, you can click the link in the description below. I have the complete dialogue with Miss Audrey right here. All right, as promised, I'm going to equip my power armor and go to the area behind of this laser grid where it's highly radiated. So you want to go in and you'll find another lock location, which is behind a red laser grid, which means you can't go there unless you trigger something or do a quest, perhaps in the near future. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video useful, be sure to hit the subscribe for more future Fallout 76 videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.